Hey, you can see on screen a layout that someone posted in the forum and I've putting out two videos today. One was CSS Grid and one was how to do that with a Flexbox container. The video you're watching today is how to do it with a Flexbox container inside Elemental. Let's get started. Really simple and easy to do. We're going to go and drop in a container. Now, what you get here are some already pre-built layouts. Now, for simplicity, I'm just going to go for a parent container with two child containers like that. I'm not going to bother setting up the width or anything because we just want to focus on the layout. Now, inside of this container here, this is the one where you would have the items that are on the far right. And you can drop what you want into here. I'm not going to be populating the content to match exactly what you see on screen, but it's to give you an idea of how you go and create the layout. Now, over here, we're going to leave this one as it is. Now, into it, I'm going to drop four containers, but there's an even quicker way to do this. So don't jump off when you go, oh, is that all he's doing? There's an even quicker way. Into this child container, I'm going to drop in another container. We've got child one and we have child two as well. So into child one, we have a container. Let's just duplicate that, duplicate and duplicate. So then into child one, I'm going to go and set it as a row. Then I'm going to set it as a wrap. Now at the moment, they're not wrapping. They've just kind of gone one below another, almost like what we had with the column. But now I'm going to adjust the width of them. So I'm going to go to child container number one. I'm going to zero everything out. In fact, I'm going to do the same for child container number two. So we get rid of the spacing and into child container one, set it to be full width. All of your child containers, when they're inside another container, you really want to go for full width, then go and set the value. I'm just going to go with 33.3. Then we go to child container two, set it to be full width. And I'm going to go with 66.6. .6. And you can now see what it's done. It's gone and put it side by side. And I might as well just copy that one. Uh, paste over child container number four and do the same over here onto child container number three. So now we get that layout. Okay. So if we were to now just go and adjust the height of this to be something like that, it's not exactly the same as the image, but you can see the outlines, right? Now I've made all my containers black. So I just want to show off a few more features before I go into the easier way of how you could have very quickly have gone and set this up. Going over to my parent container. I'm going to drop in my gaps just to be 20, just so we get that 20 space there. I'm going to do the same over here. Now, if I go to a uh, child container one and I go and add in a value here, this is going to break because even though we've set it to be 33.3% and 66.6, .6, the moment you go and add in a gap, basically it kind of breaks it up. It now says that gap plus your percentage is over 100%. You know, you kind of think it would take account of this, but it doesn't. So what you now need to do is go to each of your containers and go and set them to be a grow like this. So click on them, go to the advanced tab and set them all to be a grow. OK, you're probably thinking, well, you're completely undoing what you're doing. No, trust me, go and set them to be a grow. Then go into each container and where I had gone and set this to be 33.3%, I'm now going to go and set it to be 30%. And the second one, instead of 66.6, .6, I'm going to set it to be 60. Can you see what it's done? I'm now just going to copy that and we'll paste it a uh, style over that one and we'll copy that and I'll paste the style over there as well. And look at that. It's now gone and applied it. And even though we have the gap, it will now grow. But there does come a point where if I go and make child containers gaps be too big, like 60, it's going to move over because 30% plus 60% comes to 90. So there's 10% leeway, which I can account for within the 20. Now that 20 is not going to take up the full 10%. I know your mathematical mind is going, what? Don't worry, because what happens is by setting it to be grow, if there's any leeway or extra left over, it grows into it. So that's one way to do it, but there's an even easier way to do it. I'm just going to duplicate what we've got over here just so we can see it again. So I've got rid of the content and I've completely got rid of child number one. So all we have is child two. I'm then going to hit the plus sign Click the plus sign again. And if I go to Flexbox, look, we've already got a two by two. So I click that. Great. I now copy that entire container, right? Get rid of it. Now I go back over to my one that I'm creating. And inside of here, I'm just going to hit paste. And what we now have is, well, the container with the four already in. Let's just rearrange it. Call it child one. Set it to be a full width for 50. And I'll do the same for that one. And there we go. We're kind of back to where we were. Of course, you may still need to do the grow effect. And, you know, if you are going to have any gap or column gap, row gap if inside of there, of course, go and do that. But that is a really simple, easy way of going to set up a layout. Go to child container number one. I can go and make it be as wide as I want, really. Really simple and easy to do. 
So if you haven't seen the video with how I do this with CSS Grid and a bit of code snippet, go and watch that. If you just want to use Flexbox containers to do your bento style grid, go and do that as well. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. If you got any thoughts, drop them in the comments. I'll see you soon.